This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From building websites to online stores to professional portfolios, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build an online presence and run your business. My special lady friend of the month is here and I'm very uncomfortable, but I have to get work done. So this is the compromise that I made. Air mattress in the office. I've been using Squarespace for five years now and I still think it's one of the best website building platforms out there because of how fast and easy it is to set up a professional looking website, portfolio, or store. I would like to think that my Squarespace website is like a hub that connects all my platforms together in one. It's a combination of a portfolio as well as a secret shop for my patrons and I recently integrated a password protected wholesale catalog page. Having this page readily available for wholesalers to purchase from makes my life so much easier. And I think it's also amazing that you're able to have different product listings on different pages of your site. This way I can separate out my Patreon goodies from my wholesale sales. If you're interested, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash applecheeks to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, so I have been working on my next collection drop for my shop because I'm designing a tote bag but it's like supposed to be in the shape of Ronnie's tote bag so if you've been here for a while you know that I did this like campaign with makeship a long time ago and I made Ronnie and she has like a little backpack on her back and a lot of people like to put that backpack on their pets and it's really cute and so I kind of thought like it would be really cute to make a like a bigger size tote bag version of the backpack so that you can wear it, your pet can wear the small one, or Ronnie could wear the small one. I wanted to make one that would fit like more of an everyday vibe because the original one is fully pink. I know there are some people out there that would probably be okay with that, but like me personally, I would want a tote bag that is like easier to match with other clothes rather than like if it was fully pink, I feel like I would have to work harder to fit it into the outfits. I have like three colorways. I've showed these to my patrons a long time ago. I designed this maybe like during the time that I was designing the fruit pouches. So here are like the three different colorways that I was working on. Product drops are always fun and it's like a good way for me to kind of get out of my like creative rut because I feel like I always have a lot of ideas for products I would want to make but it's always hard for me to do like personal work. So like it, if I have like a little bit of an assignment for myself, I think it's easier for me to like get things jump started, get my brain moving. <laughs> What? We, I want to go with the Buzz Lightyear shoe one, and I've never been to California Adventure, so that would be fun. The Incredibles right there is like a pretty, like, I think we'll roll with those, those ups and downs. Are there any cute like thrift shops or like furniture places? Not furniture places, but just like cute 
um, vintage stores and stuff like that. In LA? Yeah. Yeah, of course. What day are you coming again? Um, I'm gonna come, like, I'm gonna come on Saturday. Recently, I have been really into plants again, and it's really not great for my wallet, but it's really good for healing my soul. So yeah, that's just me saying I have a haul of a lot of plant things, and I wanted to share it with you. I've been watching a lot of plant videos, but the only name that I can remember from the top of my head is Benji Plants. Um, he has just like very beautiful plant videos, and it inspires me to want to take care of my plants better and to give them nicer homes to live in aka pots so i have been just like upgrading everything so also recently um this is along the same vein as just being obsessed with plants but i found out about this thing called flower frogs there was literally one saturday where i non-stop scrolled on ebay for flower frogs for literally the entire saturday and i continued on sunday as well i bought three I only needed one. This one's huge. Whoa. So this is one of them that I got and pretty much a flower frog is like, it's usually glass or ceramic or I think there's also metal ones. It's a way to like display your flowers without using like flower foam. And you pretty much like this, this particular version is one that has like a metal like spiky thing in the center of it, which is I guess the flower frog and then you just like stick the stems onto it and it just holds its place on the flower frog. This is the first one. It's a flower. I can't. It's just so cute. Ooh, okay, this is the second flower frog that I bought and this one is like a very just like minimal. I think this was handmade. Um, there's like a little scribble on the bottom. I don't regret it. I don't. The last thing I bought was directly something I saw from Benji's video. It just seems very like easy to use. So it's one of these like misters. Yeah, I think you just like fill it with water and then you pump this so that it pressurizes and then it like you can like shoot mist from here and then you can change like the different mist settings. And I also got some sticker app stuff. I might as well just open it now. Oh, it's my Patreon stickers. I design like Red Rock inspired stickers for Patreon. If you want it, go snag it. They should still be up. If not, they will be in my secret shop. Maybe I should have waited like another half hour because my cat prints Patreon postcards came. I'm actually going to head to LA for a week to visit family and I'm thinking maybe I'll just bring this to LA to pack. It's a big brain because I know I'm not going to be wanting to work on other things. And this will be a good in-between. Ooh, It's the painting that I did of Red Rock. I don't know why it's so saturated on camera. And then I have a quote on the back. Ooh. <laughs> so it will be these together, which I'm quite happy with how everything turned out. It matches very well together.
These are some tags. Please ignore the clicking. Marco is playing games. Uh, I got three. I made some tags and printed them out to see their sizing. And I think this is the size I'm gonna go for this one. And I'm gonna do an in-between size for this because I feel like this one's too small to see like the text on the back. Holy cow, okay. But this one is too big in like in general, so. I'm done, I'm finally done. I emailed Sticker App to see if I can make these into sticker tags and have like the bag printed on. But if not, I might have to redesign the tag because I can't find one that has a custom die cut tag option. So we'll see how that pans out. I'm heading back to LA. Let's see how long it'll take. It's gonna take four hours and five minutes. I've been on the road for two and a half hours now. I still have two hours left, but I'm getting a little hungry. And I remembered that I've always wanted to try Peggy Sue's because it's like in between Vegas and California. to bring stamps back home to stamp all my patreon orders so i just went and bought uh like bought out all their stamps he, like he was counting out each page of these and he had like maybe one or two sheets of international stamps left oops up with my friend Darren to go to the nursery right there and oh my gosh like driving in Pasadena it's beautiful there's so many trees everywhere and the trees are like all like arching over the roads it's so nice talk a little bit about hobbies because it's been a very important part of my life recently. As I've mentioned earlier in the video, I've been getting really into plants again. Plants started progressing into interior design, to flower frogs, and then into ceramics, and then it got into terrariums and wabikusa balls, kokedama balls, and then I realized that I was simply just finding other creative outlets that didn't involve making money. All my life, I've been pretty stubborn about how art, drawing, painting was like my one and only calling and nothing else in the world would be as interesting to me. And in a way, now that I'm able to make a living off of my passions, I think I'm finally like allowing myself to explore other things that I've been holding back on because I simply didn't have time to. I used to think of hobbies as a waste of time when in reality it's such a good way to recharge yourself and get inspired again to fuel the energy you have for your main passions.
This trip back to LA definitely sparked something inside of me creatively. I think seeing how passionate my dad was about all his newly found hobbies in ceramics and woodworking has made me realize that I have my own interest in other things as well. So Life isn't all about working and making money. It's nice to be able to give yourself some time in between work to do things that you just want to do. And a lesson that I'm learning even more so is that as I start my hobbies, it's okay to spend money on them. Growing up, I was always very frugal and I didn't spend too much money on extra things or extra hobbies because I was taught that it's a waste of money. But if it makes you happy to be surrounded by tiny little jars full of little moss and dirt, then is it really that much of a waste? Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> A lot of you have been really interested in my dad's journey with ceramics and woodworking. He even taught me a little bit during my visit and I'll probably make a separate video about how I learned ceramics from him and painting on ceramics and stuff like that. But for now, please enjoy these clips of me throwing for the first time in many, 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 many years. I'll end this vlog with a little montage of fun activities I did with friends and I hope you enjoyed my little vlog and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and thank you to my patrons for all the love. See you later. Bye. Oh, where are you going? Oh.